Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you how to import a CD into iTunes in Windows 8. Now if you're using iTunes for music then you um, have to first of all install it in Windows 8 because it's not available. Um, there is a video online that shows you how to download and install iTunes in Windows 8. If you don't know how to do that, just search for iTunes in uh, the official Windows 8 channel. There's a little um, search box at the top of the channel where you can uh, look for um, that video. Once you have iTunes installed, well, you'll want to have music probably. One of the first reasons people install iTunes is because they have um, iPods or iPhones and that is the major reason also an iPad is another reason to have iTunes because that's the way iPads, iPhones and iPod touches and iPods in general are managed it's through iTunes and Windows. I personally think that if you don't have any Apple products you should not install iTunes it is um, a big bloated piece of software first of all I think Apple is uh, not doing a great job with that Windows version of iTunes and if you don't have any Apple products you should probably stick with Windows Media Player that works very well in managing your music and importing CDs but if you're using iTunes then you'll want to import CDs into iTunes so what do you do uh, to import CDs well first of all once you have iTunes installed on your computer, what you'll do is insert a music CD, which I'm going to do now. Now, don't click any automatic windows because a lot of the time, well, most of the time, you see here on the upper right side, it says there's something I can do, uh, the audio CD inserted into my drive and the tab there to uh, see what we can do. Here, we're not going to click that, that message because we want to have a manual way of importing so that everybody knows how to do it and that it works for everyone. If we click here, yes, it's going to work. We're going to be able to do it. But the problem is some people don't have the automatic process start up and they don't know what to do. So here is going to be the manual way so that you can uh, see for yourself. And if you have that automatic window um, disappear and doesn't show up anymore, then you'll know how to do it. Just click on the upper right side or lower right side of the um, window to get the charms bar if you don't have a touch device or just swipe from the uh, right side of your screen to get your charms bar and click search for iTunes or if you have an icon on your desktop or anything just click your iTunes uh, icon or tile in the start screen. There you'll have iTunes show up. Usually iTunes will show up using, um, actually showing you the music on the CD most of the time, but not always. So what you can do is on the left side, you've got music. You can click that little music note and you'll see your CD with its name. So Together Alone is a Crowded House album that I have on my computer here that I've inserted. So I'll click there and you'll see the all the music on that CD. Now keep in mind that it can show up as an unknown CD. If you have a CD that's been um, either ripped already from another uh, computer, uh, most of the time these CDs will show up with unknown albums or unknown titles. So uh, check that. If you have pop, rock, any genre of music CD that's you know popular, um, usually they'll show up with the name and the title of each song. Once you see the list of songs from that album, all you have to do is click on the right side of the Windows, uh, the iTunes window. You'll see import CD with a little down pointing arrow. You click there. Here's the tricky part. If you are using iTunes and a um, iPod, you can leave it like it is uh, like it is here. It says that the uh, format that it's going to import is AAC. 
But if you're going to play around with those files, then maybe you want to put them on an MP3 or have them uh, on another CD, then what you'll need to do is actually uh, choose here in that window. And I personally think the best way or the best format you should choose from is MP3. Uh, not because it's the best format for quality, but because it's the most popular format, the one that works everywhere on every devices that you know and that you'll ever have. So MP3 is the most popular format for music. Uh, under it, you have quality, different qualities, 128, 160, 192. So uh, by default, it's at 160. I think it's a nice compromise. If you are scared of not having enough space on your hard drive, <coughs> sorry, um, you can choose 128. Um, it's going to make the files a little smaller. Uh, is there a big difference between 128 and 192, say? Uh, well, there is one, but it's not that big. So for most devices and most computers, uh, I think 128 is even good enough. <coughs> sorry here. So once you've chosen your quality and your MP3, all you have to do is click OK. And every little song that has a check mark, because you'll have to put the check marks or remove check marks depending on what you want to import, is going to be imported into iTunes. And it's as easy as that to actually have songs imported into your computer, into iTunes. And if it's because you want to import them to your um, iPod, your iPhone, your iPad, then when you'll plug in your device in USB port, you'll be able to actually synchronize those songs onto your devices. So that's how you import songs into iTunes in Windows 8. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a video or something, um, a feature of Windows 8 you'd like us to make a video of why not ask and we'll try to put that video online. If you have questions with problems in Windows, uh, I try to answer questions when it's easy to answer, but sometimes some questions require much more than just um, you know, a, a, a paragraph of text because a lot of problems in Windows are sometimes linked to what you are doing with your computer. So it's not always possible to answer all the time. And uh, hope you enjoyed the videos and that uh, you'll come back in the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.